Okay, university students should wear uniforms. I'm like, nah. I'm easy. Not uniforms, like you have to wear a tie and white socks. But that's what they're proposing. No. Rumored, we mean, allegedly. I'll, well, um, have you been like to a petrol station? Uh huh. Like the few of gotcha, us who gotcha. feel at a petrol station. Okay. <laughs> Yes. So, have you seen those petrol attendants? How uh -huh. they are? They just so wear like a shirt and. So, you want people to look like attendants no. at the university. Look, you had this idea of wearing a tie was so bad, or socks. I'm or not saying something. it's bad. Wearing mm -hmm. a tie makes you, you know, proper. You look mm -hmm. uh, like you're well put together. Then what's with the but uniform? As a uniform, mm -hmm. <laughs> guys, you know what I want to even. Mike, you're not even in campus. <laughs> Here's the thing. Let us know what you think about that situation on Y254 channel or the East Side It. Now, um, so Adisparta, thank you for mm -hmm. always watching. I think I always see him every yeah. Saturday. So mm -hmm. Adisparta, mm -hmm. thank you for watching the East Side Kit. He's saying, loving the show, watching from Kisumu. Big up in Kisumu. Uh, Michu B. John K. E. And I'm killing the vibe here. Mombasa 001. Tunakuja. Uh, I, I can't I read think. exactly what he's saying there. <laughs> In a short hand, mm -hmm. too much. It's a little bit like Koi Koi San. Koi San. Is it Kaksa? Same. Like any other. So, in case you didn't know, you could figure. I do, still don't know. Can you please type that again? <laughs> <laughs> Samuel, <laughs> Samuel Kirika Mwangi. Samuel Kirika Samuel from Naivasha Nichezen Goma ya Wakadinali. Wakadinali. Mm. Okay. Thank you for that one. That I mean, make a bit looks like a cardinal. So, at this part again, and some of that's impossible. How can a comrade be the same as a high schooler? Uh, mm. Yeah, Takio Maneno, and, and mm. he does not propose that. Thank yeah, you so much, at this part. Yeah, yeah, the bully from one. Apana, mm. one of the thing is, um, say, you're on point, you're on point. Thank you, Buddha. Mm -hmm. Uh, huh. Honest, I'm sunny, and I'm watching from Machakos, DJ Little Russian, I could do too, Sana, I love it. Shukran. Na siya tia anza kuringa o VP. Ah, lazima uh, so Play for me radio love. Ndo yate metoka kucheza tu saizi. Mm -hmm. About you need to wear uniform. Haiwezi make. Mm -hmm. uh. What do you why, have to say? Why are the boy child siding <laughs> with you? Why are you people siding with me? Me always tell you the boy child is a At smart child. At our blue child. tick. At our blue tick. <laughs> <laughs> the boy child is a smart <laughs> child. <laughs> mm, Millicent Guy Brown, as I'm watching from MKU Thika DJ, he's on Mix Zimeweza Mbaya. Mm -hmm. uh, boom, I love you guys. Mimi, Nime Maliza Campus, whatever they do, Nishidayao. Mm -hmm. hmm. At least one person. Whatever they do, Nishidayao. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what to say to that. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay Williams, and some hell no. Uh, how does CS expect, uh, okay, okay, it's allegedly. Expect uh, Kenyan students to put uniforms from for six from sixteen, using it for four system. Now we look on our show. I'm a rudia daro mara mob. Wana. Macho. Like you know, we're in a chom. 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 We're in a it's crazy out here in the streets. Bernard and Dungo are always tuned in. Kiona Ivasha ni chesengo ma ya calligraph na uti LeBron. Coming up. Coming up. Safi kabisa klemo rei. Sisi kani rei amari. Ana sama uniform ni wewe. With some smiley emojis. Ata watu buy ya tu buy. Safi kabisa. Alafu DJ. Ata kumlenga imwaka. Mm -hmm. What's a cum lang in Waka? It was the name of Clemore. Angaliango, my request. Please play uh, my feelings, but Lama's part. Listen, my feelings. Any Clemore? Ati my feelings. Ati my feelings. Clemore. Jaculanga. Gautel and Aquambia, the city care, bring your codiem, Mongi, Kando, Tafadalia. Skizani Vizuri. Samson, I don't understand. Please play for me my feelings. Pierre, I take my feelings. Nanini na feelings le. Ama ni weza. Mafeelings kwa mingi. Ama ni vile kuna baridi. Kuna baridi mingi. So mna feel vile. Eh, mna feel le nye. Keep like that. Jafan. Chem Leggett. ENG. Esiero. Eh. Yeni Gina. And I say from Esiero Village. Kabisianga Ward. Nandi County watching live. Kamakawa. Frederick Ayo. And I say it's mad. Lakini hiyo story. A uniform ni tricky sana. Ni tricky sana. Ni tricky sana. You guys continue. Uh, continue giving us your feedback on Y254 channel and the East Circuit. Our first guest is no stranger to the East Circuit scene or to Y254. Welcome. Uh, she goes by the name of Wayinke. Hello. Karibu sana, Y254. Asante. Asante. 
Uh, career yako ilianza, did you start with the, because now you're a high fashion model, yes. you're an actress and you're a singer. Yeah. Which one came first? Was it the modeling first? Uh, career wise or how I, career -wise. How I did? Okay. Music came first. Music came first. Yeah. Mm. I, I started singing when I was very, very young. Yeah. And my first performance was in a church musical. How old were you? I was seven years old. Seven I played years Mary old. <laughs> in a Christmas <laughs> you played musical, Mary. yes. Uh. So it was both acting and music, like it was a drama musical for the church. Mm. And ever since I've been in choirs in my primary and secondary school years. Mm. When I got to campus, I, I joined a Helen Tawali's band, Afrizo. Mm. Mm. That's when I started earning from music. Mm. So now we can say that music uh, music was my first career. That was your first gig? Yes, because I was still in campus then. But you still I had didn't the know passion I could model. for fashion, yeah? Yeah, I, I, I had a passion for fashion, but um, I never knew I could model. Mm. You see, um, I like to experiment with style. I like dressing people up. I, I like fashion, mm. but I never thought of myself as a model. <laughs> you never thought of yourself as a model? <laughs> yes, Why is it was that? an accident. Uh -huh. um, there was a time uh, in Nairobi University, we, we had a strike. Mm. And I got bored, so I called one of my high school directors. Mm. I was in drama. Mm. And I asked, uh, is there anything I can act? Then he sent me location. There's a casting call here. I didn't know it was casting for models or mm. acting. Mm. So me, I went there as an actress. Mm. Then I saw they are telling me to walk, they're taking my measurements, then they tell me, oh, you're in, we're going to train you. Then I was like, who says no to free training? Mm. <laughs> That's how I started modeling. By accident. It was by accident. But then again, you went so far with it because you became a, a, the runner-up for Miss Universe Kenya. Yeah, that's that's kind of surprising. I think mm. I think modeling kind of chose me, because mm. when when I started doing it, it was it was just for fun. I am getting free training from Tony Chira, and every month we have a show, we have a, a f fashion weekend every month, and it gives me some five thousand. That's extra pocket money that I wasn't planning that to get. Say that no my mom doesn't obviously. even know I have. Yeah. So it started like that. Mm. But then um, I started getting serious calls, serious requests, and that's when I, I put my mind to it. Now when you started taking it seriously? Yes. And until you So I the started joining it. competitions, Miss mm -hmm. Tourism now. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now I feel I can. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I, I went for Miss Tourism. I went for Miss Universe, these competitions. Mm -hmm. And the, f the first was Miss Tourism, and I was first runner up, number two. I was shocked, so I was like, ah, let me try another one. <laughs> I went for Miss Universe and Sam. Mm. And then um, I was number two again. Can I ask you something? Uh, what was the feeling, the emotion that you felt, especially with that big title, Miss Universe, Kenya First Runners Up? Okay, Knowing that you, you didn't even imagine doing it. First, it's, it's kind of empowering. Mm. Uh, it, it showed me that there's so much I can do that mm. I didn't know I can do. So it, it gives me that spirit of exploring. Now I, I'm ready to explore a lot more because mm. if I didn't Still try... Still in the modeling industry or No, like in every, every, every sector of my life, okay. including my campus life, like even in school, mm. like I came to believe that there's nothing I can't do. Everything was achievable. Like everything is achievable. Mm. That's first. Then secondly, it's kind of a burden because now people look up to you. They expect you to be... Yeah. A certain type of way, dress exactly. a certain type of like way. Exactly, like you're supposed to be a model, a role model, you're supposed to be this and that and this, and uh, you're, not, you're not your own person, you're people's person. Mm. You represent people. So you can't just go with your feelings, go with your moods. Mm -mm. Mm. Now you're you don't like, post whatever you feel like on you're social a media. <laughs> figure, legit. Yeah, things like that. Mm. So it's so kind the of... Pressure you don't have that kind of freedom to just explore yourself and be yourself, free spirit, the way you used to. People mm. should not meet you in a wrong corner, wrong mood, things mm. like that. Yeah. That pressure, uh, uh -huh. was it too much for you? Uh, no, I, I kind of got used to it because mm. I'm a firstborn mm. and my, my parents are very strict. Mm. So I'm, I'm kind of used to the pressure, mm. but um, it gets to a point where people judge you thinking they know you, but they don't. Mm. And you... you, you you even meet people on social media, 
because maybe you're friends for maybe one month, two months, one year, and they think they know you. Mm. They think they know your weaknesses, and it's easy for you to be misunderstood. Yeah. Easy to be misunderstood. Yes. Uh, okay, now before we get into the music part, I want to generalize it because yeah. you're one and the same, the full package, yeah. the model, the actress, the singer. Now the pressure and people misunderstanding you and judging you, mm -hmm. of course it comes, since it's an online community these days, yes. comes with, you know, some negativity at the same time. A lot of negative energy. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot. Because people, like you, you, you cease to be a person. When people talk to you on social media, they don't realize you're someone's daughter, mm. you're someone's sister, you're someone's girlfriend or someone's future wife. Mm. They see you as a poster. You understand? Mm. So whatever they throw at you, they believe you're like, you're like a rock. Mm. It doesn't affect they, they anyone else. They believe it doesn't affect... Uh, yeah, and, exactly. Uh, like, um, I, I, I go to social media, okay, other artists' social media pages, like the, the way they will talk to her, it's like, it's like she's not a person. Mm. She doesn't have feelings. These things are not supposed to get to her. You understand? So that's the kind of thing that happened to me. And um, it happened too fast. I don't think I was so prepared. Because <laughs> uh, in a span of one year, I was a public figure all mm. of a sudden. What I was doing, uh, I was in campus uh, studying BBIT. But I was doing these other things as hobbies, like things that I can use to release stress when I'm stressed out in school, you understand? Mm. But it got too fast, like all of a sudden I miss something, all of a sudden people know me, all of a sudden my music is playing somewhere, mm. all of a sudden people want to know who are you, and if they can't understand you, they want to label, they, they want to make themselves understand. So it came too fast. It came too fast. <laughs> yes. But you were able to finally cope with it? Finally. Finally. Yes, Last but it's year, not easy, especially uh, if you don't have a manager. It's yeah, not easy. It's not easy. Yes, because now you have to deal with everything yourself. Mm. Yeah. Uh, a manager in terms of uh, managing your social media? Or no, just some, your, someone who your manages schedule. your career, someone who actually helps you get grounded. Mm. It, it's not even about social media alone. Someone mm. you can talk to about um, some of this negativity you meet. Mm. Someone who can help you get grounded. Uh, don't worry about what they said here and here and here. We're going to do this to counter. Mm. or things like that or someone who can stand up for you and call we need this and this and this and this so that people don't feel like uh, we can use her mm. you understand mm. yes now in terms of music uh, you have an <laughs> album out Wayenke self-titled yes. yeah how how's it been since you released the album how's the reception um, the few people who've had it mm. <laughs> the few mm. the few people who've had it liked it but it didn't, it didn't get a lot of media attention. Okay. Uh, it didn't get, in fact, I'm sure most of you don't even know song number three. Because mm. um, by the time I was releasing the album, um, the, pressure, the pressure got so much that I got sick. I just left it. And that's why you disappeared I from didn't, my last I didn't year. even want to push it. Yes, I disappeared. Yeah. I, I got sick. I, I was diagnosed by depression. And it was because of all this negativity I'm taking in. So uh, I have an album out. I have people who act, they're my friends. Mm. You call them, um, I, need to, I need help pushing this. I need an interview. I need this, I need this. And what they can say is they want to objectify you. Mm. Or oh, you're a girl, you're pretty. Oh, Be my wife. And Be exactly. Mm. Be my girl and I'll make you a star. Mm. Be my girl, I'll, I'll buy you a car. Be, so... Every, t every time you approach someone, you're met with objectification. Mm. Then when you go to social media, the people who don't understand you, mm. they also want to act like they do. So it got too much. Uh, I how had did to you get through break. that? Because now you're back, uh, <laughs> you know. You're looking let me, well, let me, you're let me, looking good. I don't, I don't even know how. Uh. Uh, it's kind of surprising. You see, uh, funny thing is when you're getting into depression, you don't know it. Mm. Until it's kind of... Now you start realizing by that this and this and this has changed. The people around me are complaining about this and this and this. You understand? You don't really know that, oh, by that today I'm getting into depression. It takes time. And when you're getting out, you don't even know it. Mm. Because it's not a one-time process. It comes with a, a lot of mind change, 
how you look at things, how you receive things, the kind of things you want to receive and all that. Mm. Uh, but I can say, I think my mother's prayers helped a lot. Mm. Cause, but you threw it. Yes, because mm. I, I know a lot of people who've gone through depression and when they came out, their life was never the same. I, I went through depression without ever touching alcohol, without touching drugs, without experimenting with, I don't know, different men. Mm. Like I, basically I didn't, I didn't try any of those vices. No, you feel like you've grown from that experience? Yes. So w w how I'm will you shape your career now? Because now mm -hmm. there's, I know you, you have something lined up for us in 2019. Uh, we are about to play uh, Zama by Wayinke, but I know you have something planned for us, right? Yeah, okay. Um, what I decided, yeah. um, first, not to get like that much pressure for myself, I'm leaving out everyone's expectations. Mm. I'm not going to work by your expectations, someone else's expectation. I'm going to work by my own role and my own speed. Mm. I want to achieve this and this and this and this timeline. So I don't care if you want me to achieve it first or if you're going to derail me so that I can be your someone. You understand? Yeah. So I, I want to take matters into my own hands. Um, I'm working with um, a lot of people who are positive. I have trainers who are helping me shape my career because even when I started my career, I didn't really get training at your music classes, dance mm. classes, and a manager. classes. Now, I don't have a manager yet. Mm. But then, I'm, I'm not... I'm not really rushing to get one because mm. now that comes with another kind of pressure and I might end up making a mistake or choosing the wrong one. So I want to take time with that. But meanwhile, I have a lot, a lot coming up. I have new music, I have dance videos, I have modeling videos and my YouTube channel is going to be your TV station. Mm. Yes. Nice. And you're going to premiere everything here on the East Circuit, right? Definitely. This is where I came first. Actually, this is my first interview after. Mm. after I, I now got well. Yeah. Yes. And we appreciate you. We wish you nothing but the best. Of course, <laughs> you're you. a hard worker. We know everything is going to turn out well. Yes. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming through. We're about to play Zama by Wayinke. Uh, where can we find the album for the people who want to purchase it? And where can we find you online? Um, the album is everywhere albums are. Like, okay, I, I don't understand why people say Kenyan music is not on iTunes. Mm. No. Mm. It is, but you just don't know my name. <laughs> 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 so if you go to iTunes, if you go to Spotify, if you, any music store out there, search for Wayinke, you'll get me. Mm. I'm everywhere. YouTube, Wayinke. Social media, Wayinke. Mm. That's the name I use. That's the name I use everywhere. If you Google Wayinke, it will bring all those sites. All those uh, links yes. to the music. Yes. Thank you so much for coming through. This